Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog, where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that may also include some shorts. So I want to thank all you guys across New Tech, as well as here on YouTube, for all of your guys' continued support. And we start things off from the messenger politics. Ramaswamy, without providing evidence, doubles down on claim January 6th was an inside job. So, ladies and gentlemen, I picked this article specifically among many of the other media outlets and their headlines because, as you can see, they're already circling the wagons, trying to make sure they're all on the same narrative. And as they do with Donald Trump, they always inject without evidence that's always injected in there because they want to make sure everyone knows this now you see when it comes to donald trump and the truth behind what's happening with him of course they have to throw in all of the speculation and the exaggeration and the sensationalizing but when it comes to anyone who's not part of their narrative particularly someone like vivek ramaswamy who goes after the establishment unit party as well as the media for who they are and what they do. And we can see it here. We're going to also play a clip from it so you yourself can see exactly how the media reframes things and how they panic when someone like Vivek Ramaswamy or Donald Trump, who is fighting his gag order, they need these people silenced. They are terrified that their ilk that their flock of people that they manipulate with their own narratives are hearing truth for the first time or perspectives and ideas and concepts, critical thinking, analysis from someone other than their own ilk. Ramaswamy interrupted the town hall's moderator several times while making his claims. No, you're going to see that she interrupted him. She interrupted him. Biotech entrepreneur... Vivek Ramaswamy on Wednesday doubled down on unsubstantiated claims that the January 6, 2021 insurrection at the U.S. Capitol was an inside job during a CNN town hall. Now, we know people. There was an individual who was among the many that were arrested. And when he went to court with his attorney, they demonstrated that the police waved him in and his case was dropped. There were instances where the police actually waved people in. There were instances where people came hours after all this happened. Hours after all this happened, they came in, they were walking around, they happened to be recorded and photographed, and they were also arrested or were in were, were received letters and things of that notice, uh, subpoenas and that sort of thing. Even though they were there hours after. Asked by CNN's Abby Phillip about similar claims he made during last week's GOP primary debate, the biotech entrepreneur insisted several times without evidence. Look, it's the third time they've said it. The third time that the government was involved in planning January 6th. See, this is the panic because what Vivek was saying, he outlines information that is readily available, information that is out there right now. But as we have talked about here on the Buzzweaver channel, like yesterday when we talked about Joe Biden's or, or the House moving to do uh, an impeachment investigation into Joe Biden, how the media is already circling the wagons, how they're already coming to the defense of Joe Biden, as well as Hunter Biden, who was subpoenaed. This is just extraordinary. So as you can see here in the article, and they mentioned it again, look at this. There is no evidence yet again. They said it four times. So I want you guys to be a witness with me as we watch what transpired here from phenomenology who says, I can't stop watching this. This is absolutely extraordinary. Let me ask you about something that you said at the debate last week. You used the phrase inside job to describe what happened on January 6th. The next day, Capitol rioter Alan Hosteller uh, highlighted your comments at his sentencing. He is going to prison for 11 years. Hosteller uh, threatened members of Congress. He brought a hatchet, knives, pepper spray, stun batons, tactical gear to the U.S. Capitol. Are you concerned that a convicted felon like that is now promoting your comments in court? So here's my concern, Abby. And I want to tell you guys where I'm at. If you had told me, it's close to three years ago that January 6, 2021 happened. If you had told me three years ago, back when I was a biotech CEO, not steeped in this world, I was just consuming passive media, but was focused on 
my world of developing medicines. If you had told me that January 6th was in any way an inside job, the subject of government entrapment, I would have told you that was crazy talk. Fringe conspiracy theory nonsense. I can tell you now, having gone somewhat deep in this, it's not. I mean, the reality is this. We do have a government, first of all, we have to acknowledge that has lied to us systematically over the last several years about the origin of COVID-19, about the Hunter Biden laptop that we were told was false by 51 CIA experts and otherwise before we now know that it was true. You could go straight down the list, the Trump-Russia disinformation collusion hoax, all of it. Now we come to January 6th. The reality is we know that there were federal law enforcement agents in that field. We don't know how many. I think it's Mr. a shame. If, if I may finish just answering. Well, let me this just. Is, this is really I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and interrupt you here because. Because I know this, that the establishment were, doesn't approve of this message. Saying, right? You see, she herself admitted she was going to interrupt him. She was going to interrupt him, and this is the framing. Now you see exactly how he outlined it. And this is what panicked CNN because probably for the very first time he is outlining and reiterating how there was a coordinated effort against Donald Trump and the Russia collusion hoax, as he called it, or the fabricated Russian story as I identify it as. Now you see here she continues to interrupt, but he's going to explain this to her. That there were federal we should agents. be able to talk about this. You're saying that there were federal this is, agents. This is important to talk about. Yes, you are saying there were federal agents in the crowd on, on, yes. on January 6th. Yep. There is no evidence that there were federal agents in the crowd on January so, 6th. So why, before Congress, when pressed on what the number was, they didn't say there were none. They just couldn't so say how many there were. So you're saying that there's no... So Congress didn't say there were none. They just didn't mention the amount or the number of them. See, these are the minute details. These are the specific, the specific details. I was going to say specificity, but I was trying to combine them both together. These are the details that the that the media intentionally, willfully cherry picks out of their articles. That you have not seen evi any evidence. So that we've there seen were, multiple. And so we've seen multiple informants were. suggesting that they were. We know people. Were, we know people were FBI informants who were asked. Is to there do this. any evidence? May I, may I just, may just there, finish me, this well, and then you me, can come back to question me? Well, let me clarify. I know this is very uncomfortable for you. I'm going to clarify my question. I know this question is an uncomfortable issue for many people, but you, we have to do the truth. Here. I'm going to clarify my question because I want to make sure that you understand oh, what I'm asking. Oh, I, I understand this deeply. And I told you, I was where with you three years the, ago. I'm not there now. Where is the evidence? Yes. Where is the evidence that the government had a plot? Let's do this. An inside job. But no, no, I'm going to tell you what an inside job is because I'm not going to, I'm not, violence respect, on January 6th. Where I'm not going to let you put words in my that? mouth. I'm going to put my words in my mouth. And I'm going to tell you what, what I mean by that. Where is the evidence that the government was involved in planning or executing okay. January 6th? Where so I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you hard facts. And, and if I may, Abby, I know this is going to be a little uncomfortable, but we're going to, we're, we're going to go through this and you can, and you can, you can push Just back on it. the evidence. That. And you can push back on that. And let's do this fairly. Why did they suppress footage? of now what's been released, 200 hours of footage of shooting rubber bullets into that crowd, shooting tear gas into that crowd. You didn't see that before. You saw what the response was to that. Uh, now you see Ms. footage coming out of actually rolling out the red carpet for Capitol Mr. Police allowing Mr. people in. Again, right through the front the door. vast majority I mean, of that footage video evidence should have been released shows, before, Abby. Mr. Ramaswamy, the vast majority of the before. footage shows and my deeper police question officers is this. being overrun and, and I want to talk about one more case. This is really important. Writers. That's yeah, I'm going to give you, hard, I'm gonna give you some hard facts. Of it shows. So what, here's what entrapment you can't is. You cherry pick. I'm not cherry picking. You if I may finish, Abby. If I may finish, Abby. I'm not See, she's accusing him of cherry picking. When it is the establishment uniparty media that cherry picks these things. Now, what I will do is I will include this video down in the comment section so you guys can watch it in its entirety. And if you want from the actual article itself, you guys can look it up. The Messenger Politics, Ramaswamy, without providing evidence, you guys can look it up. And you can see the same thing essentially here. Now, I've not watched this YouTube version or who it's from, maybe from CNN or maybe even from The Messenger. I'm not sure which of the it is from, but I'm sure it will have commentary very similar to what I'm saying to you right now to ensure, of course, that uh, the narrative isn't interrupted as he was interrupted. It's absolutely fascinating, and you're welcome to share this with your friends and those who are wondering about all this information. Now we have Vivek Ramaswamy who has come out and specifically spoken about this Two crowds, two audiences that have probably never heard this who watch CNN. It's absolutely phenomenal, and that's what I have for you guys this Friday. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. 
Below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, so make sure you're following me there, as well as if you are a Amazon Prime member or order frequently from Amazon, especially this time of year, perhaps makes it easier, you can use those links below this video. It takes you to a landing page and you can place your orders, just like if you were on regular Amazon. But nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for this entire year. All of you guys across New Tech, as well as here on YouTube, for your guys' continued support. It is greatly appreciated. And appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon if you're watching here on YouTube. You guys can click on that to subscribe, as well as to select notifications. That way you'll know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys behind the Galaxy Phone camera next week.